everybody. Good morning. Tough act to follow in the form of Justin Reed. Today I'm going to talk to you about two projects that Valor holds. Both of them are district scale, very high value exploration projects. The Angolac property is a uranium project, 43 million pounds, 0.69% in Nunavut territory. And then we have a 2.2 million ounce palladium platinum resource in Brazil. These are important, probably won't get through it in 10 minutes here, so read that on your own after. Um, just to tell you who we are, we're part of Discovery Group. We're a member of, of this alliance called Discovery Group. And there are eight public companies in the group, and really it's a platform, uh, uh, almost an incubator of public companies. We all work together as a group, and we've had a lot of success, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of success as Explore Co's, um, multiple commodities, and really we attract very high quality talent to this group, which typically then brings us very high quality deal flow in terms of projects, and we're able to raise money and execute on our plan. So we'll give you some more info on the Discovery Group if you come by our booth after. We have an approach, you know, we did a lot of thinking on this, but what we're looking for in a project is trying to leverage off, get torque from previous expenditures. Now that could be in the form of exploration or that could be in regional infrastructure. So in terms of our two projects, there's some different prior expenditures, but it's pretty substantial and it gives us a really big leg up as we advance these projects. We're looking for things on a district scale, high value mineralization at grand scale. So it'll be worthwhile for a big, bigger mining company in the future, hopefully to come and, and buy the project from us. That's one of the things we look to do as a group is exit through uh, sales. Um, and then we're, we're, I think we're very well known for our technical strengths and we spend a lot of time on it, trying to advance the asset through just really good exploration. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about that today. Uh, in terms of the group, we have, we run the gamut in terms of skill sets of the board and the management from exploration, legal, in-country expertise all over Latin America, uh, production and, and exits as well, M&A transactions. Very strong team. The market cap's around 50 million Canadian. Uh, insiders own about 20% of the company, very high conviction level. And I think uh, we're all aligned as shareholders. Some of the successes that our directors have had, uh, specifically the board of Valor, it runs the gamut from Hathor, which is one of the biggest uh, uranium M&A transactions in Canada recently. And we have had experience in gold, uh, asset sales, coal, and, and royalty deals. Um, so all that expertise is living on the board of, of Valor. The two projects that we have, uh, a uranium project in Canada called Angolac, uh, very high quality asset, a resource base of 43 million pounds with significant growth potential. And then in Brazil, we have a plating platinum project called Pedro Branca, about three and a half, four hours from a big city called Fortaleza, which I'll talk to you about. Lots of expenditures on that uh, project, or both projects by previous operators, but really good exploration by Valor to advance their projects. I'd like to talk about Nunavut really quickly. Uh, in, in terms of uranium, I think most people think about Saskatchewan, but Nunavut territory is actually an amazing place in terms of a mining jurisdiction. And over the years, there have been multi-commodity projects put into production. Um, Agnico Eagle derives a lot of their income actually from gold production from, uh, from Nunavut territory. And Valor controls a large uranium district in, in southern Nunavut, which is right in the bottom right of the page. Big land package, uh, almost 70,000 hectares. On the right-hand side there, you can see an orange and yellow squiggle. And there are five of those squiggles and what they represent is the five zones that host the 43 million pounds. This is supposed to show the scale here, the opportunity for exploration upside. So all those red dots you see on the right, bottom right in the legend, but they're spread across the entire property, over 35 kilometers of high grade showings. And anytime we go uh, run an exploration program, we keep finding more. This is the same area. The three tiers on the right are representing different data sets. So on the top, you've got the geophysics 
and in uranium exploration and many forms of exploration, you're looking for structure. Uh, the, the, the magenta squiggles are the target zones we go after. The middle tier is, is geochemistry. So it's running it's running with uranium. So the structures that we can see on the top also run when we, when we run soil grids. And the bottom is just to represent the two different uh, zones where we've drilled and actually defined a resource are purple, the purple blobs, that's 43 million pounds. And on the bottom level, you can see the orange blobs represent zones that are similar or identical to the resource zones where we've drilled and hit uranium and high grade uranium in drill core. And the only thing I want to show on this slide is that this is a long section through the deposit, the, the five zones where it says Western extension, main zone, Eastern extension. But what this is representing, it's high grade uranium starting from surface. We're not drilling targets at seven, 800 meters or 500 meters depth. These start right at surface. Final point on the project, um, we're actually, in terms of Canadian listed pre-production uranium coves, um, we're actually only one of six that have a resource. And we're really one of the few who's, who's actually performed metallurgy as well. So when you're looking at that checklist of project risks, metallurgy, this, this one passes with flying colors. So now I'll just jump down to Brazil really quickly. Large land package in northeastern Brazil, plating resource. You got three minutes left. This just shows scale again. You know, you're looking at over 40 kilometers from, or actually closer to 60 kilometers from the top to the bottom. And we've strategically staked along a big unit called the Troy unit and we have run exploration programs and followed up on historic exploration programs by previous operators. And we have a team that is hyper-focused on finding near surface plate in platinum. And they've got a, a technique down where they're using auger drills, prospecting, and they're finding a lot of it. And they're, we're really expanding this thing. We've, we've already grown it from 1 million ounces to two, and we see visibility to grow considerably more. Let's just give you a, a showing, an example of pictures of the high grade palladium platinum at surface. Significant data set. And then drilling. Uh, in 2020 and 2021, obviously when the, the world was kind of on lockdown, we were actually drilling and we, we took the resource when we acquired the project from a million ounces, a little over a million ounces to 2.2. Very cost effective exploration down there. I think we spent about six and a half million dollars to double the, the resource and there's a lot more coming. That we just sort of break this down into regional segmentation of the resource. These red stars represent the resource zones on the project. In the top, the northern area called San Tomorrow, we see great exploration upside. The central zone has four different zones that in aggregate are over a million ounces. And there's a lot of uh, exploration potential to connect those dots. And in the south, we have a, um, one area called Trapia. And this just gives you an idea of the kind of growth potential that exists in this inferred resource of the project. So on the left-hand side, you kind of see uh, the one arrow that represents 300 meters. That was the extent or the strike length of the mineralization that was in the initial resource. And then we just stepped down dip and drilled it off and we're able to uh, add significantly to that resource. You can see in that purple drilling, it's basically extends at depth. And this kind of opportunity exists elsewhere on the project as well on the other zones. Since we got 50 seconds, I'm gonna go right to this one. We have been undergoing a strategic review that has dragged on for a long time with the company. We've got two projects in the company, the uranium asset and the palladium asset, and we believe separate, separately they will drive a lot more value. We're getting very close to the actual pu pulling the trigger on separating the uranium asset from the palladium asset. And our goal would be a uranium project with top quality board, super well financed and focused on exploration growth and resource growth. And uh, we're getting very close to being able to accomplish that. And then a really hyper-focused Brazilian uh, precious metals team. So stay tuned within the next 
short period of time will have clarity on that review and adding value for shareholders.